Hello, my name is Maeve McCormack. I'm coming to you from Sligo Library for Europe Direct. Today, I'm going to be talking to David McGuinness from the Sligo College of Further Education. David is the principal there and he's going to be talking to us about PLC courses at the college. David, you're very, very welcome. Thank you very much, Maeve. Okay, well, I'm going to jump straight into it. PLC courses, what are they? Yeah, PLC courses are called post leaving cert courses, but it's kind of a catch-all expression. They're really courses for people who may have completed a certain level of education, usually leaving cert, um, and want to then go and do an additional qualification. So the courses come in at level five and level six on the National Framework of Qualifications. But they're also open to many other people. So for instance, people who are mature students, people who are coming back to education, and maybe people who've done a level four and who also want to progress onto a level five or a level six course. Okay, so good variety there of, I suppose, openings for people at different education levels. So generally, why do people choose to do a PLC course? It, it really depends on, on the background of the student. Um, we obviously get a lot of school leavers, students maybe who've just done Leaving Cert recently in the last couple of years, and for one reason or another didn't get an opportunity to progress. Maybe, for instance, they mightn't have had enough PLC or Leaving, leaving Cert points and they couldn't get into college or maybe they didn't have an entry requirement. So for instance, they may not have achieved their mathematics, which is an entry requirement for college. So rather than repeating a year, they come to us and gain an additional qualification and do the maths as well. Uh, we also get people who come from different backgrounds. We get people who maybe have been in the workplace, who maybe have lost their job or else just want to refocus and do something differently. So they might come and choose to do a course with us. And we have a lot of students maybe who had left education behind in the past, people who are returning to education and for them, I think a post leaving cert course is a good level to come in at um, and it will also give them a really a clear indication if they want to return fully to education and maybe progress on to um, ATUs or, or to universities afterwards. Okay, so lots of different options for different ages and different educational and different work experience levels by the sounds of things. Yeah, it is really very open, you know, it's yeah. a very broad spectrum, you know, we have over 30 courses, there are a lot and of... And what would be the benefits, say, from, from doing a PLC course? Um, well, I suppose, firstly, for those who want to progress, it gives them a, it gives them a qualification to progress into, for instance, a technological university or a university. So all of the universities um, hold a certain number of places over for what are called non-standard applicants, so people who may not be presenting Leaving Cert. I think there's a kind of a misconception that only people with Leaving Cert go to college, but for instance, ATU Sligo would have over 50% of non-standard applicants, so people who come from a PLC route or present a similar qualification. Um, you know, I think the other thing is the skills that people gain from, from doing the course. You know, as a student does a course with us, they obviously do the curriculum, but they also do work experience. A lot of our students, over 20%, go abroad every year to take up work experience opportunities in France or Spain or Germany. And again, that increases their employability and makes them more attractive. Um, I think also as well, you know, it, it, it allows people to gain confidence. A lot of our learners are, are coming back to education and confidence is a, is a big thing for them. They maybe don't feel ready to go to university, but they equally don't want to leave education behind. So they come into an environment where, you know, I suppose it's, it's, it's a one year course. They don't have to commit to a three year degree. And really it shows them very clearly if it's something they want. And I suppose the final group of people then are maybe people coming for uh, specific qualifications. So maybe somebody who wants to go into care industry or, or child care, or maybe somebody who wants to do hairdressing and beauty therapy and want to get into the workplace. So, so really there's a lot to gain. Whatever avenue you choose within PLC, it's quite broad and it gives you a lot of options. Yeah, I mean, you've mentioned a huge number of options there. And I know there's PLC courses all over the country, but looking specifically at Sligo College of Further Education, what kind of courses do you offer there? Or why would someone come to Sligo to do a PLC course? Yeah, we, we, we offer a lot of courses, 30 overall. And obviously I won't go through them all, yeah. but, but there's a range of areas. You know, there's business and computing, science and engineering, there's hairdressing and beauty, there's design, there's uh, care and social services. So a whole range, you know, but I think really, you know, we're the largest provider of, of PLC courses in the Northwest. We'd have over 500 students annually. So, you know, we have that range, of course, we have the experience amongst our teaching staff and we've experienced the support in our students as well. I think Sligo is a particularly attractive destination as well. There are over 5,000 learners in, in Sligo alone and, and we're co-located with ATU Sligo, so we're on the same campus. And we have all the same benefits. So we have shared facilities for canteen and study. We have accommodation. 
for students as well. So all of the things that somebody could get from going to, say, ATU, they'd also get to come from us as well. So there's an awful lot that would attract them. You know, a lot of people want to live in Sligo, but I think an awful lot of people want to study in Sligo as well. Okay, so certainly a huge number of benefits but, but by coming to Sligo. As was talking about benefits and supports, if someone wants to do a PLC course in Sligo, are there social or financial supports available to them for that? Yeah, for, for somebody who's coming to study, there's, there's the same range of supports, I suppose, that you'd expect to find in, in the third level system. So students can avail of grants um, to study and there is a, a PLC grant available. Students can also benefit from social welfare, um, they can get a back to education allowance, they can study as part of the VTOS programme. So there's a range of benefits. Um, additionally, we have things like a laptop loan scheme. So if students come to um, study with us and they may be financially under pressure, we'd be able to support them with that. And I think for students who are new to Ireland as well, you know, students who maybe are in the asylum process and have access to, to, to the labour market, or maybe students who've come to Ireland more recently, say maybe Ukrainians and, and, and people like that are recently settled. We have options and we have um, financial supports to allow them to study under the same terms as members of the, of the EU. So, so really uh, there are a lot of financial benefits and supports. Okay. So final question, David, if somebody wants to do a PLC at Sligo College of Further Education, how do they go about applying for it? Okay, we, we direct everybody to our website. Our website is www.sligocfe.ie. Um, all of our applications are online, so students can just click into our website and they can apply directly. And we follow up then with them once we receive their applications. I think there's a whole lot of information on our website as well for students. There's a number of um, videos, for instance, on, on, on every course. There's a virtual open day so that students can see the lecturers talking directly about their courses. And there's a range of other support materials as well that tells them all about our college. So if anybody goes to our website, they'll get everything they need. Wonderful. And you have an open day coming up as well, do you? Yeah, we, we hold a couple of annual open days. We, we have one in October, maybe for the school leavers, but the next one that's coming up for us is at the end of August. So if there's anybody who's thinking about, you know, maybe considering a course like that, we have an open day at the end of August where a student can come in and meet our teachers and talk to them about specifically about the course and make applications. So really, we're open for applications and willing to support applicants anytime up until the end of September. Wonderful, and all that information is on your website, which will be, will be put up at the end of this interview. Dave McGuinness, Principal of Sligo College of Further Education, thank you very much for joining us in Sligo Library. Thank you very much, Maeve. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you, David. And from me, Maeve McCormack. Bye now.